45 Dayton and also on our website, fox45now.com. Well, today, North Korea is scheduled to start dismantling its nuclear site, but now there are some concerns. President Trump met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in yesterday, and Trump is saying the historic summit between North Korea and the U.S. next month in Singapore might not happen. This morning, I'm joined by Laura Lerman, a political science expert at Wright State University. You're kind of breaking this all down, but I just I want you to start with the meeting between President Trump and President Moon yesterday. Yesterday. What was actually accomplished in that meeting? So this was a meeting, uh, it's going to be a two-day meeting when Moon is in the United States. Before he met with President Trump, he met with Secretary of State Pompeo and National Security Advisor Bolton. And this is all being done to try to manage the expectations for this anticipated summit. Mm -hmm. What came out of it was a palpable sense of uncertainty because in a press conference after the meeting, uh, President Trump stated that there's now a substantial possibility that the meeting might be delayed. He said it might happen on June 12th, it might not, um, but it might be delayed. So this is really what came of that meeting and it's just increasing the stakes. Which is, is sort of interesting because I feel like President Trump has been fairly confident when it came to North Korea and meeting with the uh, Kim Jong-un. So why now the discussion that the summit may not happen? So up until this point, everything has been about symbolism, right? All of these important meetings and the return of the American detainees. Now we're moving from symbolism into substance. Substance is more difficult. We had last week, uh, we just found this out actually, that the North Korean delegation did not meet with the American delegation in Singapore last week to try to help lay the groundwork for this June 12th meeting. That was significant. We had the discussion last week about the, the testing, the, the military drills between the United States and South Korea. So now we're moving into the fact that all of this symbolism, while it was great, it wasn't really backed up by much trust between the two sides, much agreement, and of course it all comes down to what is North Korea willing to do. The United mm. States, in some ways I think we're concerned that both sides have been overselling what they're going to do. The United States has been talking about this complete, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization. Kim Jong-un has never pledged unilateral denuclearization. Yesterday, President Trump hinted that that might be a precondition for the talks, and if that's the case, Case, it's very clear North Korea will not go forward. Which is, is, is incredibly interesting because in, according to President Trump, it was almost as if this meeting was already in the books or already on, you know what I mean? It was already going to happen for sure. And why at this point do you think President Trump is guaranteeing Kim's safety? Yes, that is the other very important development over the last couple of days. This is all about the Libya model that, that Bolton, our yes. national security advisor, talked about last week. What exactly does that mean? I will tell you the way it's being interpreted now is the Libya model means if you do not follow, if we don't have this deal, there's going to be death and destruction because, of course, that's what happened to Gaddafi right. after he did agree to give up his nuclear weapons, which were not nearly as advanced as what we have in North Korea right now. So this idea about guaranteeing the safety was President Trump's way in many ways of undercutting Bolton's statements last week of saying we're not going to follow this if we have a deal and if we don't have a deal then maybe we will. This uncertainty while we can use that as an advantage and in fact um, Nikki Haley yesterday said this could be an advantage in the uh, tools of the United States. It could also be a significant disadvantage when we do not have basic agreement on what these two sides are going to discuss. And quickly do you think the summit will happen next month? I believe there will be a summit. Um, I'm not sure about June 12th, but I'm also not sure if it's going to be between President Trump and, and uh, Chairman Kim. Interesting. Okay. Well, Laura, thank you so much for coming in and breaking this down. Again, I'm sure we'll be talking to you very soon. This seems to be a very developing situation. So.